Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how you can use Inkscape to grade your sewing patterns. Grading is basically plotting coordinates. There is a horizontal x-axis and a vertical y-axis. Horizontal movements to the left are negative and movements to the right are positive. Vertical movements upwards are positive and downwards are negative. But in Inkscape, the opposite to the vertical movements applies. Upwards is negative and downwards is positive. Please keep that in mind. With that said, let us begin. I have my pattern and layers panel open here. To get the layers panel, click on layer then layers. This is a size 12 back bodice. And I have here my grade rule guide that has been taken from the book Metric Pattern Cutting for Women's Wear by Winifred Aldridge. I will start by grading the back and then the front. I'll lock the size 12 back layer so that I don't accidentally alter it. And then right click duplicate layer and rename it 14 back unlock it so that I can work on it and then click on the edit paths by nodes tool select a node I will start at the center back so I will be using millimeters as my measurement value according to the guide here we have to move four millimeters and there is no horizontal movement so remember vertical movements upwards are negative so I will tap in negative 4 and press enter for better visibility i will change the outline color hold down shift and then click on a color and then let's move on to the next node positive 2 enter and negative 4 enter moving on to the next node select the entire dot and enter the grade value we have positive 3 and a negative 3.5 enter this is a repetition of everything basically just enter the grade value on every node i will speed this whole process up so that we can get to grading down to a smaller size when you get to the fish eye dot you hold down shift and select the entire dot and enter the grade value now that i'm done with the grading i lock that layer then right click on size 12 layer click on duplicate current layer rename it 10 back and then repeat the entire process but this time we are grading down to a smaller size so we do the opposite movements to the left will now be movements to the right and then upwards movements will be downwards movement so keep in mind that the vertical downwards movement will be positive. So there we have it, our back body is created and change the color for better visibility. Hold on shift and click on a color. Now moving on to the front, right click on size 12 front layer, click on duplicate current layer and rename it 14 front. The front grade movements move to the left. So all the horizontal movements will be negative. Please keep that in mind. Now start at the center front, select a node, enter the Y value, which is negative because it's an upward movement and change the color for better visibility. Hold down shift and click a color. Select the next node and enter the X value, which is negative because it's a movement to the left and enter the Y value, which is also negative. Press enter and then move on to the next node and repeat the same steps following the grade rule guide. I will speed up the process because it is a repetition of everything. The shoulder dot point grade value is the same as the fish eye dot. If this is moving too fast, you can always pause or slow down the video and check the guide. 
Grading down to size 10 is the same process as the bag. We'll just right click on the size 12 layer, click on duplicate current layer, rename it 10 front and unlock it so that you can work on it. All the other layers that you are not working on, you can just lock so that you don't alter them. Since we are doing the opposite of grading up, remember upwards movement will be downwards this time and positive and the horizontal movements will now be to the right and positive. So there we have a graded bodice from size 12 to 14 and from 12 to 10. So you can grade up as much as you want or down as much as you want just following this technique. There we have our back and front bodice all graded. You can follow the same technique to grade to whatever size range that you want. So that's how you can use Inkscape to grade your sewing patterns. Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for more videos and share with others who might be interested in grading their sewing patterns using Inkscape. Until next time, bye.